this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be decorating this mason jar for Valentine's Day. So, let's get started. In a previous video, we made these fan folded hearts, and several of you requested a video on how I would decorate a mason jar. So we're going to be painting it, and I'm going to use some of the same scrapbook paper I used to do these fan folded hearts to decorate our mason jar. So I figured that would be really nice to kind of tie it all together. So I'm really anxious, and I know you are, to see how this turns out. I'm going to be using this Snow White acrylic paint, and I love the coverage that this this has. Um, I've used this in several other projects. So I think it's going to look nice for Valentine's Day, along with the pink and the yellows. I'm just using my sponge brush. or I should say foam brush, to just smooth on my paint. And I've seen several projects where they use like a acrylic sealer, and I love using that as well to give it a little bit of shine. So I'm going to be using that once I apply my paint, I'm going to be using the Aileen's Acrylic Sealer, and it's going to give a nice glossy finish. You see how that first coat is going on really well. It's got a nice, nice coverage on it. I am going to do two coats just to really make everything look nice on here. And that way I can cover up any spots that I may have missed. But you can get a bunch of these and do maybe some you could do some red, some white, some pinks. Uh, purple would look nice. If I had purple paint, I would definitely use that. So I'm going to continue painting this. I'm going to let it dry. Normally when I use uh, the acrylic paint, this dries usually in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll, I'll put another coat on and I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, so our paint is all dry and what I did was rather than have it all white I just dabbed a little bit of yellow around the top just to give it a little bit of a border because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking some of my scraps. I've got tons of strips of paper and I'm going to Mod Podge it onto my bottle and I thought that um, this would actually accent some of the colors in my scrap paper as well as accent the color in my fan folded heart and my chenille stems wrapped around here so I, I'm trying to tie everything together so what I'm going to do is I have so many of these scraps and this is just the top piece that I cut off of my 6x6 scrap and so what I'm going to do since it already has a hole in it I'm going to take my hole puncher And see how it already has that hole? I'm just going to create more holes, basically. And it's not the exact same size, but, but that's okay. And 
this hole is just a little bit bigger. But no one's going to really notice that. I'll go ahead and do the other one. And I'm going to be using this one also. And so I already did one. And this is just another great way to use what you already have in your stash. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to take a little bit of Mod Podge. And I'm going to use two of these strips to go all the way around. So I'm going to take this one first. I'm just going to fit it right around the bottom there. You see what I'm doing there? And it just ties in that color just a little bit. Just want to make sure that's nice and straight there. And you don't have to do this. You can leave it as plain as you want. I just thought it'd be nice to add some stuff in there. Just a little bit more. I'm going to get that other piece. And I really like the fact that these aren't the traditional colors for Valentine. So feel free to just mix it up a little bit. And I don't mind that overlapping a little bit there. Okay, and I'm going to just go back and just smooth it out just a little. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do another one right across the center here. And so this is actually going to be my front part right here. I'm just going around the center because I know I want another band around this. And I'm just going to turn this around so I can just have it go right around the middle there. And those polka dots I really like because it has that white coming through. And I don't mind it overlapping a little bit there. I'm just going over it with a little bit more of the Mod Podge.
I'm just going to clean up any excess on there. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. Okay, now I have this pink heart and it matches this border. So I'm going to just, just make sure I have enough Mod Podge on there. I'm going to Mod Podge it right to the container. And then I'm going to put a layer over that. And this is actually my outside heart. And then right on the inside of that, I'm going to put this other heart just to tie in those colors. And you don't have to do this. This is just giving you an idea of what's possible. I think this is a great craft to do with kids as well taking the scraps and just decorating your bottle. And I hear my little dog right now barking downstairs. And I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge the rest of this and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so our mason jar is all done, and look how cute that is. It's got the band going around it. I really like those contrasting colors and how they blend in together. So get all those scraps out and start decorating. And remember these right here. Now I can have a container that matches and I can put all of my parts in a jar. And this is great if you're having a Valentine party. Or if you want to make something for a co-worker's desk. And I will post pictures so you can really get a good look at these. I'll just show you what that looks like. And see how cute that is? Everything just blends in pretty nicely on that. It's like a little bouquet in a jar. Okay, I hope you were inspired by this. It doesn't have to be just like this. Just make your own and have fun. I hope you were inspired. Thanks so much. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.